Well, hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Back Roads. Uh, we're back at it again. We're back in the, the Ozarks here in uh, South Central Missouri. We're on a camping expedition this week. Uh, we've got the mighty uh, White Tiger back here out on this expedition. Uh, we've just finished up a long trip out west on our uh, CF Moto, our Ibex 800T. We spent about uh, two and a half weeks out west on that bike. We've made it back to the Ozarks. We didn't die or anything, so that's good. So this week I've got base camp set up in Eminence, Missouri. And I'm going to spend the week riding around in the government woods down in this area. I believe I found a uh, spring in a mill that I discovered. Uh, it's been several years ago. I ran upon this thing and I didn't know where I was for sure. And I kind of forgot about it. And then a few years later, I wanted to go see it again. It was really cool. And I, I couldn't remember where, where it was or uh, I didn't know the name of it or anything, but I think I have found it now. I found some pictures online and I believe this is the, uh, the mill site and the big spring that I found that day. So we're gonna take the mighty white tiger down in the woods and uh, we're gonna find this thing and uh, get some pictures of it. I didn't have a camera with me the first time I was there so we're going to document this thing so stick around we'll load up on the mighty white tiger and uh, go check out some springs here in the southern Missouri Ozarks so I'm kind of excited to see this spring I haven't seen it in probably three or four years maybe more than that I really don't remember it's been a day or two so we're south uh, south of Winona, southeast of Winona, Missouri, here out in the, a big batch of government woods. I'll put it on the map here where we're at, kind of, sort of. This mill that, we're, uh, that I'm looking for, I found, I ran upon this thing, uh, I don't know, it's probably been four years ago, three or four years ago, and uh, didn't know really where I was. I, I was with another fellow, we were just out riding in the government woods and uh, ran upon this uh, big spring that had an old mill side on it. Today we're going to try to find it. I think I've located it. Uh, I found it on a map. I, I found an old mill site and I got to looking and uh, had some pictures of it and it looked real familiar. I think this is going to be the mill. So this mill, uh, this mill site, this big spring is just off of the 11 Point River. Uh, it's east of Alton, Missouri. So we got our base camp set up in Eminence, Missouri today, or this week. Uh, a little campground there. It's really a, a nice place. It's real quiet. Got good amenities and got power. So I got my fan going there in the mobile command center. I kind of have to have a fan to camp, especially in the summertime. Uh, dry camping out where you got no power in the heat is it's not for me having a fan in the tent uh, keeps the mosquitoes off of you they can't fly around and when the fans on so I find that sleeping uh, with a fan is the way to go when you're camping and that's the way I like to do it but your mileage may vary Beautiful area down in here. I just love the, the government woods around Eminence, Missouri and Alton, Missouri, Winona. Any, anywhere along Highway 19, the Highway 19 corridor uh, from Salem, Missouri all the way south to the Arkansas line is just gorgeous. Yeah, boy, we're going down now. Bound to be some water at the bottom of this hill. I think there's a little creek down here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is a pretty good way to spend a day right here. Pretty hard to beat. I'm sure there are better ways, but I don't know what those ways are. For me, this is it. Again, your mileage may vary. There's some coons, some raccoons right there. Oh, okay. There's a pipe running out of the hill right here water running out this is a little spring i see water crests so that's barely a trickle running pretty slow but there's more water coming down in other places there well, that's pretty cool 
we're probably i think the creek there might be a creek right over here according to this map <coughs> we're getting close yeah this is the little creek i remember this Woo, she looks stagnant running pretty slow the locals have piled up made a little rock dam right there made a little pool for the kids to swim in right here at the bridge it's kind of neat i'm going to set my traction control back to uh back to get up the hill mode since we're down on the creek i'm pretty sure there's going to be a probably a hill or two to get up out of here yeah, we got one right here. This one's not as steep as the one we came down, though. Road's not washed out too bad. A little ledge rock right there. Getting steeper. Nothing the tiger can't handle in second gear. Yeah, I did a lot of maintenance on this uh, motorcycle over the winter. Rebuilt the, fr uh, the front forks. Serviced all the bearings in the bike. And then I haven't ridden it. Put new tires on it. I think I took one little trip. We came over. I came over here to Eminence with a... Rode around with a friend of mine for a couple of days. We camped out back in the spring. And then that's the last I've ridden it. So it's kind of been sitting in the World Headquarters garage on the battery tender. It needs to get out and stretch its legs a little bit. It's a really nice motorcycle. Awesome for this kind of stuff. Carries all my junk. Can't ask for more than that. We've got a little bit of concrete right there. We're getting fancy. Don't run over me. Wasn't a stop sign in any direction on that, those crossroads right there. You're just on your own. It's up to you. Do whatever you think's best. I believe that little shed has had it. It is no more. This is pretty cool. I don't believe I've ever been on this little piece of road. Sure doesn't look familiar. The county, or there's been a road grader on it. At some point, they've cut it, cut it down real deep. Probably an old road, been here a long time. They get real deep, cut down real deep over the years. Some of them old roads that used to be wagon roads. This one's cut down pretty good. Yes, sir. This is a dandy little road right here. I'll have to pin this on my map so I can remember it and not lose it for four years. I might bring somebody down through here someday. Revisit it. So, uh oh There's a tree they haven't got to yet. Big old tree, too. I mean, snapped it smooth off. Huh. The big old white oak tree. Boy, I mean snapped it. Whew. There's the splinter that's left. Looks like she was rotten on the inside. Down here. Got a, a little terrapin in here in a shady spot. Looks like termites. Termites have been in that. That's all termite stuff there have eaten that yeah the termites have really worked that over that's all been eaten up they had them a feast going on on this tree oh it took down another little tree here when it fell snapped this guy or the wind might have snapped that too there we go didn't do anything too stupid. We're getting all the fun on this hill. 
a nice steep uphill off camber to the right. Awesome. With rocks hanging out, even better. Not a problem for the mighty tiger, though. Yeah, this is all washed out here. Had a lot of water coming down through here. Ah, look at here. We got some bona fide pavement. Now, I don't know what road this is, but it's got pavement on it, so maybe there won't be no trees laying over it. So that's the Irish Wilderness marker. So the Irish Wilderness is a big area, a big section of, uh, of uh, wilderness, forest land, wilderness designated uh, national forest. There's no roads into it. You can't, you can't ride into it. No motor vehicles are allowed. There aren't any roads. And I presume any that were there have been uh, shut off, blocked off or whatever. You're not gonna get in there on a, with a vehicle. Pretty big area. So if you're a hiker, there's a lot of trails in there. Uh, you're not gonna run across anybody on a side-by-side uh, -side or a motorcycle or a Jeep or anything. There's, none of that's in there. To the right, howdy. I guess she was gonna take up the whole road. <laughs> she wasn't interested in sharing. Oh yeah, back in the woods again. A lot cooler in the woods in here than it was up on the highway. This is nice down in here. Anybody's guess. Looks like that got in the road. Somebody cut that out. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Whoo, I guess I did take the scenic way down. This has been going on for a while. <laughs> It's a nice ride though. I'm not sure I need uh, two hours of riding through the woods of video doing that though. That's going to be one boring video. Okay, we got a mailbox here. This is somebody's driveway. They're, they're living kind of remote, I'm going to say. I have not seen a power line or a phone line or anything in here. I don't know how they're living getting mail down there with no power. But Man, this thing is nice on these kind of roads. Suspension just eats this stuff up. The fueling is spot on perfect. You can just crawl over stuff nice and easy. No dramas. Little motor will tractor up about anything. Pretty good uh, setup other than the, uh, you know, I don't even want to get started about the front, the rake and the front end, but besides that, the lack of rake in the front forks, the rest of the package is okie dokie. They built the road around that bad boy. Ooh, the river's right down here. Down in the bottom of that. Oof, 11 point river. I'm getting excited. That is a big river valley right there. A deep one. Boy, I went on a beautiful little hike over at Alley Springs Mill yesterday. I got into Eminence a little early before I could check into my campground, so I went to Alley Springs. It's an old, it's a, it's a big mill. It sits on a, on a spring, on a big spring. There's a little uh, hike you can take up on the mountain behind the spring and around, and it was really pretty. I took a few photos while I was up there of the spring and the mill house. It was kind of cool. Looky here, what is this? Right here, Bose Mill, that's where we're at. So let's get a camera. And, uh, boy, I don't remember the trail, but it's been... It's been a day or two since I've been here. All right, we're gonna take a walk and go see this mill, or this spring. All right, we made it to the uh, spring. It's 
about 100 yards off the parking lot, not very far. Pretty deep, uh, looks like a pretty deep hole of water right there, the spring. Pretty cool spring right here, big deep hole. The fellow was just here, he was swimming in it. He said it was pretty cold, and I imagine it is. We're just below the spring hole. This is the little spring creek coming in here. And uh, this is some of the old, the dam from back in the day when the mill was here. Uh, this is about all that's left of it. The mill house is long gone, but uh, some of the old rock work is still here. And concrete and stuff. And there's an old uh, pipe they used to funnel the water through. And then there's a turbine in the bottom of it there that used to fit in the pipe. And uh, so they had a turbine generator. So this was probably around the turn of the century or shortly thereafter. Uh, those turbine generators on these little spring mills were pretty common. They changed them all over from mechanical water wheels to these turbines and put generators on them. That's a big old pipe. That thing's about 10 foot in diameter right there. All riveted together. The pipe is hot rivets. So it's, it's an old one. It's probably in the 1800s when that thing was made. That's pretty cool. Here's some of the water coming through the dam. They opened it up to let the creek through, it looks like. Makes up the little creek here, and it runs on out into the 11 Point River, which is right out here. Not very far at all. Yeah, here's a look at the back side of the dam. There used to be a gate in that. You can see the metal frame above it. They just pulled the gate out and let it go wide open. That's just pretty neat. So here we get a pretty good look at the 11 Point River coming down through here, what we can see of it. All right, we're out of here. We'll continue on down this remarkable little road here. I've enjoyed it so far. All right, let's go. Here's a river access. Let's go look at this. And there's the old bridge, the old steel bridge we're about to go over. We'll get a picture while we're here. That was a pretty sweet little spot right there, without a doubt. No jumping from the bridge. Oh, okay, you say so. Yeah, that's an old one. Beautiful spot right there. We're almost back to Eminence, Missouri. That's where I'm camped out at. Going to see if I could find a grocery store and uh, maybe pick up some some produce. I like to have a banana and an orange, stuff like that. I can eat in the evening instead of eating a big old greasy dinner. I usually feel a little better when I eat that way. Groceries and meats. I'm going to try this. They've got worms. It says. See if they got a banana and an orange. That's what I want to know. All right, we got some fresh produce there at the little grocery store. I scored pretty good hit there. I got bananas, fresh peaches, 
fresh blueberries and some uh, cold tea. So I'm all set for dinner. Oh, and peanuts, salted peanuts. We just rolled right through the, the biggest part of Eminence, Missouri right there. That's pretty much it. From there, you just go straight to here. And then you're done. Right here, just on the north side of town, is my little RV park I'm in this time. This is called uh, Eminence Cottages and Camp. And it's pretty nice. Um, it's not real big. But the bathroom's shower house is top notch. They keep the grounds immaculate. It's quiet. They got a nice little camp store here. Uh, they got a lot of stuff in there. They got a lot of tent camping down towards the bottom of the hill, but none of it has electric or water. And as far as I can tell, there's four sites right here that have electric and water, and I'm in the first one. So this is home sweet home for the week. But we got the mobile uh, command center set up here. We need to get the exhaust fan running and uh, cool it off a little bit. I think I'm going to eat my, uh, my fresh produce, go take a shower, and uh, maybe fire up the YouTube machine and uh, stretch out and watch some videos. <laughs> 